Okay, so here's the uh, next one that's coming on. This is situated in Culver Street, 16th century, black and white. It's an end terraced cottage, but absolutely gorgeous inside. Presently let out on Airbnb. So the property is offered with vacant possession and keys are available for us to take viewings at any time. And from the, uh, the pavement, there's a step set lead up to the front of the property. It's a beautiful back garden on this one. Um, you're going to hear me say a lot of different things about this property because I really do like it. There's a doorway here that leads through to the entrance hall. Okay, so on entrance into the property, gorgeous uh, condition this property is in. It's a three bedroom end townhouse. You can see down here you've got the tiled flooring all the way through. This is into the entrance hall. This then leads through from here to the lounge. Now again, beautiful lounge. It's got a, an amazing open fireplace. This property is actually offered with vacant possession. Um, it's fully furnished at the moment. The present owner has been letting the property out on Airbnb, hence it's excellent condition. I mean it really is a stunning property. This was the five minutes walk of Newant Town Centre. It's got UPVC double glazing, gas central heating, that fireplace in there is actually an opened fireplace and you can see on the flooring down here there's a large rug but also it's quarry tiled flooring all the way through beam ceilings it's black and white originally dates back to 16th century quality all the way through from here i can take you in a straight sweep all the way through to the dining room, again, front aspect dining room, radiators and near power points all the way through. This one's actually got a secondary glazed window at the front. I'll take you from the far side of the room just to give you a better overall view all the way through. That's the doorway that leads back through to the lounge. Now in this room as well, just walking you through so the window at the front here is secondary, secondary glazed. And then there's a latched flooring there that lifts up and goes down to the cellar. And I'm not going to take you down into the cellar. Um, anybody will have to come along and have a look at this, but I'll lean down and just give you a quick show through the open hatch. So that's down into the cellar. And again from the dining room, and they're going to take you straight through in a sweeping motion back through to the lounge into the entrance hall. That's the doorway we came through, and then from here through into the kitchen. It's got a nice size kitchen again, extremely good condition. There's a little room here for a, a breakfast table as well. Originally, it was going to actually have an Argo put in that corner, um, but it's now got built in double oven, Bosch, plumbing for water washing, washing machine, or dishwasher. There's also over in the cupboard here, let's open this so you can see there's a built in fridge, one and a half ball single drainer sink unit with mixer taps, rear aspect windows again. Um, I think we said double glazing at the start, it's a mixture of double glazing, single glazing, and secondary glazing. But just to take you all the way around again we've got the red tiled flooring here and this in turn goes through to the utility room again even this is a good size tiled flooring all the way through double opening doors to the rear stainless steel single drain and sink unit in here and that thumb latch doorway gives access through to the cloakroom so in here you've got a test test cloakroom, heated towel rail, there's a shower cubicle all fitted in here. Just swing you right around so you can see. Shower and everything built in there, Troy, in the shower. 
but again very useful accessory straight towards the doors that go out to the back garden let me keep this running so you can see the effect as you go around so here's the staircase it actually leads off the main entrance hall coming in I'll take you again in one sweeping motion straight up the staircase well, I'll just show you the, uh, the landing so on the landing it's quite a spacious landing it's three beds four bedrooms actually sorry <laughs> and this is what I've put down as the main bedroom this is the largest bedroom that's a front aspect secondary glazed window again it's got timber flooring all the way through I'll swing you swing you around wood fireplace in there I'm going to take you right from the far window now looking back just to give you an idea there's good size built-in wardrobes over in that one there a lot of space up here that's bedroom one now that is a large family double bedroom we'll continue around to the second double bedroom now again this is a very good size bedroom again that window there faces out to the front that's secondary glazed it's got the original fireplace situated over here i say original um many parts of the cottage have got original features um this property years ago did actually undergo a fire so it's had a, an awful lot of restoration done over the years and it is absolutely stunning um really worth a worth a look in so that's the second large double bedroom as we're here i'm going to take you into the shower i'll pop the light on you will get the sound of the fan as well but here is the family bathroom white suite very nice bathroom suite shower attachment fully tiled first couple of wc pedestal sham basin again timber flooring wall light shaver points extractor fan opaque double glazed window there to the rear and continuing back along the landing i always find this is easier to do it in one take it gives people an idea of what it would be like when they are viewing this is into one of the children's bedrooms again it's a double room um i'm gonna get back as far as i can in this room just to show you but it's a it's a good size room this one at the moment's got a single bed in it but it is a, a very good size room and the window on this one is a secondary glazed window which actually does face over over the garden from this room which i'll show you i've actually got a built-in wardrobe actually in here as well before we go on from this room we can continue through to the fourth room now this is a smaller room again beam ceilings all the way through it's got built-in wardrobe but it's uh, only big enough for a single bed this is a single room and that's got a side aspect a single glazed window and newant town center is literally a three minute three minute walk really that's a beautiful town to be in just looking back to the hallway but absolutely stunning property you can tell as an agent we love these style of properties i'll take you into the back garden and we'll have a look out there okay so from here we'll take you out to the uh, the rear garden you can see you've got a lovely seating area here it catches the sun very well as well there is a side access that leads back around to the front but beautiful uh, beautiful garden this is so well maintained and as you can hear it's a quiet location except for the birds just take you all the way around and i'll just show you the uh, the entrance in so you have got an entrance that comes off off Culver Street there there's bin stores down the side and then in one motion I'll take you up the garden so you can see the pathway go up it's quite a large garden actually it goes all the way up there's a garden shed to the rear there's a gated rear access and also you have a patio area situated up here another beautiful seating area a gated rear access 
garden shed. This is included, this will be staying. Just to show you around. And I'll give you a view of the property from the very rear. So it's a four bedroom, it's an end terror townhouse. Dates back to the 16th century. Black and white, beautiful location. Any further information, please contact Andy or Natalie on 015 318 20767, Smith's Estate Agents. Um, we can do viewings at short notice on this one as there are fees available. And that's 50 Culver Street in New End.